The book of Genesis. What a great place to start any Bible reading plan. The word Genesis actually means beginnings, and that's the best place to start any narrative in the beginning. The book of Genesis actually sets the foundation and the trajectory for the rest of the biblical narrative. In fact, you will find much of the symbolism and uh, a lot of the ideas represented in Genesis are going to be repeated throughout the rest of the Bible, all the way to Revelation as well. The book of Genesis is split into two parts, agreed upon by most theologians. Uh, Genesis 1 to 11 and then Genesis 12 to 50. Genesis 1 to 11 is really about God's creation, uh, the, the sin of man, and then God's recreation again. And what you start to recognize that God created beauty and, and this image of God to be enjoyed and to, to be a blessing to the world. And when man brings chaos back into the world through sin, God longs to bring the blessing of the created beautiful order back again. Then in the second part of Genesis, what we really discover is that the chaos of sin seems to be entwined into the lifestyle of man. And so in the midst of this, we start to see something really important for the rest of the biblical narrative emerge. God's promise to humanity that one day through the line of Abraham, he will bring redemption and become the father, uh, the father of all nations, that there will be a blessing to the whole world that will happen through the Abrahamic lineage. It's really important that as you read the book of Genesis, it's really not a way to gain a form or, or a wisdom or lifestyle advice. Most of the humans, if not all in Genesis, fall short at some stage. They are not models of good godly behavior. But one of the things we can read in the book of Genesis is the consistent, faithful, covenant-keeping nature of God. What is it telling you about God's character and His goodness and the way He responds to man's fallenness? I have no doubt that you will have a lot of questions as you read the book of Genesis. Recognize that this was a book written to a different people in a different time. Make sure you've got a good commentary or good resources. Check out the YouTube uh, Bible Project, which is it kind of gives a great overview. The other ones I use is the Blue Letter Bible app or also the Logos app. Find a good commentary that actually helps you to delve deeper. One of the things I've learned is that every time I have a question about Scripture, a doubt or a concern or a problem, that's usually the Spirit of God beckoning me to go deeper and follow Him further that I might discover more about who He is and who I'm called to be. Enjoy the book of Genesis.